So we shall continue to give out machinery, prioritizing those people with big chunks of land. This can be individuals, this can be cooperatives, this can be entities like the church. So, you know, people can put politics in everything. They will say, yes, they are now giving tractors to the rich. Yes, the rich also, we want them. Someone is rich because he or, he or she owns land, or an institution owns land. So I want that land to be put into use. Honorable Minister and colleagues, you would be surprised that God gave us a big part of our land to be arable. Only 34.4% of the arable land God gave us is under agricultural production. So, uh, 60 something, 65% is not open up. So, really, I'm making a, a call to everybody. If you have big chunks of land, put it into agricultural production. Even if you are a cattle keeper like me and uh, many cattle keepers in Teso, cat, cows can coexist with some good acres of coffee, of cassava. Actually, cassava will work well with milk. <laughs> so you will have 200 acres for cows and another 100 for cassava or for coffee. This is how we shall be able to meet the, the national and international demand of certain commodities.